Initially, a new wick is white. Over time, the wick will turn black from carbon buildup, which will reduce performance. When this happens, we need to trim the wick. Using a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers, gently pull it up until the clean wick appears. Grab the wick as far down as possible to avoid ripping the wick. Trim the end evenly with the top of the chimney using scissors or wire cutters. This should be performed once or twice a year. Each wick is almost four inches in length, so after two to three trimmings, you'll need to replace the wick. The wick should be changed if the lighter does not light properly, or if the ignition process has to be repeated multiple times. To install a new wick on a regular or slim model lighter, we need to remove all of the fuel chamber's components. The flint screw, felt pad, packing material, and the old wick. Insert a new wick either downward through the chimney or up through the bottom of the fuel chamber and bend the top portion of the wick over the chimney to hold it in place during assembly. Carefully reinstall the packing material in the same exact order as it was removed. Replace the packing material in small pieces, interweaving the wick between the padding in a serpentine or S pattern. The goal is to make sure the wick has as much contact with the packing material as possible. Reinstall the felt pad over the flint tube and secure it with a flint spring as previously mentioned. Be sure the flint didn't fall out during this process. Trim the wick evenly with the chimney height and reinstall the insert into the case.